All right, we are still having this debate about Halloween decorations. <laughs> yep. No, I found a good one now. <laughs> I think everyone's on the same page. Yeah, good one. Yeah, it's like the whole size of my house. Um, no way. <laughs> I thought you'd appreciate that. The way and it's the Nightmare Before Christmas. I do about that. Yeah, actually, that's the one I wanted. They had one at Home Depot See, that was Jack Skeleton, but it was eight and a half feet. You and, come to me yeah. for these things. I know. <laughs> it's not that I can't find them. It's that Paula won't allow them, just to be clear on this. Once again, um, I side with Paula. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so we always side. It's always the case. <laughs> I never win one. Even the hot iron debate, I never win. I never win. <laughs> All right. It won't actually feel very Halloween-y. That's a verb. Over the next few days, we're going to be kind of in a late summer vibe. We had a few showers over southern Maine earlier. Had some clouds that stuck around there as well, but most of the state was sunny pretty much from the beginning of the day, and there will be up until sunset. And temperatures responded nicely there. The clouds have been most prevalent in uh, Oxford County and back into New Hampshire. And so we got to 69 in Bangor today. We'll get into the 70s in a lot of spots tomorrow. 63 in Portland, 67 in Freiburg, where the fairs going on. Uh, tonight we clear out pretty uniformly. 30s, 40s, maybe some low 50s here down towards Sanford by early tomorrow morning. Tomorrow's a really nice day though, start to finish. It's a very simple forecast. A lot of sun right around 70 to 72 for most of us. So just perfect weather. We'll kind of do that again on Thursday. This is a, a really strong stretch. Thursday looks actually a little bit warmer, perhaps into the mid 70s by Thursday afternoon, which is pretty mild for this time of the year. The only issue we have is a little onshore flow, so the temperatures along the coast will probably cool back down in the afternoon. And then it's cool again Thursday night and Friday looks good. Backdoor cold front will come through on Friday, giving us a few additional clouds on Friday afternoon. That backdoor cold front will kind of end the party as far as the warm temperatures. And so the weekend will be on a cooler regime with high pressure building down from the north and that backdoor cold front cooling us down. It's still not bad though. It's just that we won't be in the 70s. Instead, we'll be probably in the low 60s through most of the weekend. A couple upper 50s uh, over Western Maine where it's a little bit cloudier. But overall, looking at the model data the next 10 to 15 days, this is temperature anomaly. And you can see the entire east is above average as we're in a pretty predominant um, ridge pattern here. The warmest temperatures will be in the Midwest, but you can see Maine is also involved in those above average temps. So I don't anticipate anything all that cool. And as far as Ryan's story earlier about the first frost, I don't see that in Southern Maine in the next probably 15 days. Wow. So we're gonna be, gonna be pushing it back there. Okay. Which is okay. No, Saturday, no yes, <laughs> I can live with this. Um, again, you know, <laughs> The weekend's still good. It is kind of funny that it is definitely the coolest of this, the two days of the seven is the weekend. That's okay. We'll be back in the 70s, it looks like, probably next week. We do have a storm to watch on Monday, so don't lock Monday in, which is, um, okay. it is okay. a holiday technically, yeah. um, as being as nice as depicted. But the rest of those days are pretty much a lock, and nice. it's a good, good pattern. Yeah, not a bad stretch. Love it. All right, Keith, thanks a lot. Thanks. We'll be right back.